Hello everyone, welcome back to my Royal Life News Channel. The story for today is nearly one year following the death of Prince Philip and his funeral that was held under pandemic restrictions, the Queen gathered her family for a service of thanksgiving to honor her late husband of 73 years. The moving event was held on Tuesday morning and saw the monarch travel from her home in Windsor, accompanied in her car by Prince Andrew, to Westminster Abbey in London. The Queen, who turns 96 next month, was supported by members of her family, including Prince Charles and Camilla, Prince William and Kate, Princess Anne and Sir Tim Lawrence, the Earl and Countess of Wessex. Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, and their respective husbands, Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi and Jack Brooksbank, as well as Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Seven were also in attendance, while royals from Europe and further afield flew in for the occasion. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were pictured arriving at Westminster Abbey with Prince George and Princess Charlotte, where they were greeted by the very Reverend Dr. David Hoyle, Dean of Westminster, who conducted Tuesday's service. Princess Charlotte held onto her mum Kate's hand, George held onto his dad Prince William's hand. Princess Charlotte looked sweet in navy for the service, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie also attended with their respective husbands Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi and Jack Brooksbank. Another look at Princess Beatrice's stunning outfit, Zara and Mike Tyndall brought their eldest child, MIA, to the service. The Countess of Wessex joined her husband Prince Edward and was accompanied by their two children, Lady Louise Windsor and James, by Count Seven. Lady Louise Windsor, 18, looked lovely in navy, the Duchess of Cornwall arrived with her husband Prince Charles. Peter Phillips held hands with his daughters Isla and Savannah as they walked into the abbey. Princess Anne, wearing green, was supported by her husband Sir Tim Lawrence, Philip's close friend Penelope Natchville was spotted arriving at the Abbey. Prime Minister Boris Johnson made an appearance at the service, European royals made up the congregation and were spotted arriving ahead of the 11.30 a.m. start. They included King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, along with the King's mother, Princess Beatrix. King Felipe and Queen Letizia flew over from Spain, Prince Albert of Monaco also attended, without his wife Princess Charlene, who remained at home and has been recovering from poor health. King Philippe and Queen Matilde of the Belgians wore black for the event, King Carl XVI Gustav and Queen Sylvia of Sweden also attended. Crown Prince Pavlos of Greece was accompanied by his wife Crown Princess Marie Chantal and his mother, Queen Anne Marie. Her Majesty appeared in good spirits for the event, which was a celebration of her husband's life and held to give thanks for Prince Philip's dedication to family, the nation, and the Commonwealth and in particular his contribution to public life. The Queen, who had travelled to London by car with her son Prince Andrew, made the short walk from Poet's Corner to the Lantern in the Abbey, and was escorted by the Dean of Westminster. The Queen supported by royal family at Prince Philip's service of Thanksgiving, best photos. As the Queen made her entrance and the congregation sang Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer in accordance with Prince Philip's wishes, an emotional Princess Beatrice was spotted crying and hiding her face behind her program. She was heavily involved in the plans for Tuesday's service and it incorporated elements that were planned for Philip's funeral that were unable to go ahead last April due to the government's COVID restrictions at the time. These included Gold Duke of Edinburgh's award holders and members of the Youth UK Cadet Force Associations lining the steps of Westminster Abbey as guests arrived, as well as the congregation singing the rousing hymn Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer, and for the clergy from Windsor, Sandringham and Balmoral to play a special part in the service. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.